That's not real. What if the mouse knows how to cook? <laughs> also, that was a rat. Fuck. That was it's called rat. fucking ratatouille. That's one time, uh, <laughs> one time at my house, I, I was I was in my house at night, and I could hear like in the wall, I could hear like something chewing, like uh-huh. crunk, crunk, crunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's what chewing sounds like. Yeah, so crunk, crunk, if you're chewing wood, that's what it sounds like. And I was like, what the fuck is that? So I walk over to it and I hear it like crunk, crunk, crunk. <laughs> uh, Is it a robot? So, so then I'm like, I'm like I, I don't know what to do because the sound's in the wall. So I just start punching the wall and like, get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I had been drinking, right? So I was like, I punching the wall. You started a fist fight with your wall. And it stopped. I don't think there was an animal in the wall. I think that was just really drunk. The noise stopped. So I was like, oh shit, it worked. So like I run outside, I don't know why I run outside and I look on my roof and there's like a pipe right there coming out of the roof, like one of those like gas pipes and like sitting on top of it is a giant rat. It's just like hunched over, like I could see it like silhouetted in the moonlight. And I was like, you fucking asshole. I started picking up rocks and throwing it at it. And I saw it like jump off of the roof and like just start running, hauling ass and it ran over to my neighbor's yard. And I was like, yeah, that's right, asshole. It's my Your house. neighbors at that time were like, oh God, the alcoholic's outside. Fit again. <laughs> and then the next day, uh, my neighbors uh, sent me a text message. They were like, hey. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's all they said. They were like, uh, <laughs> I, I, they're like, yeah, we heard you outside, whatever. Like, they don't care. They know I'm weird, right? They're like, we heard you outside. And, um, this morning we found this in our yard. They sent me a picture. It was a dead rat in their front yard. And I was like, I don't know how the fuck that happened. <laughs> but that's the asshole that was in my room. Awesome. Like, that's the asshole that was eating my house. He was crunk, 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 crunk. Oh my God, that's great. I don't think you have anything to be worried about. Cause she didn't even want to dispose of that mouse you found. Oh my God, that she named, that they named Henry? I know, when you told me that it had a name, I was like, oh, you're fucked. So you found, how, wh- what made you think you had a mouse? Did you like hear my, it? My, well, my roommate Mike saw it. One day he was up late and this thing just scurries across the room. And uh, we had been gone that weekend and he, we came home and he was like, hey guys, I'm pretty sure we have a mouse. And we're like, we don't have a mouse. This is a new apartment. We don't have a mouse. He's like, I think I saw a, like a scurrying thing. We're like, we don't have a mouse, Mike. And my buddy Doyle gave him shit the whole time. Like, ah, oh, you're crazy. And then one night, Doyle sees the mouse run across. He's like, guys, Mike isn't crazy. We should stop giving him shit. We should get some things to get rid of a mouse. So they bought, they made a mouse trap. They come home, they kick in the door, like, we're gonna catch a fucking mouse. They had drawn up a plan. <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll show you the picture. They drew up a, on a piece of paper, it was Mouse Trap by Steven and Mike. Was Nathan Lane there? No. Why, <laughs> Lane was there. Why are you saying it in that voice? None what? of your roommates sound like what? that. Mouse trap. Mouse trap. That's how, like, that's the dramatic were, plan. Yeah, voice. this is a plan. Yeah. Anyways, they wrote it up and there was a shitty drawing of a box with a mouse inside saying, God, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> it didn't work. What got it was a fucking Swiffer. One night, uh, Doyle comes home, he's having a beer or something, and the thing scurries across our living room and into our, into our uh, uh, closet. And I'm in my room asleep, girlfriend's wearing headphones playing Minecraft, my other roommate's asleep. He's just looking at the, at the uh, closet, and he's like, I have it cornered. So he just starts going, Mike? <laughs> Mike? He, like, he does not want to leave, because he's like, if I leave, it will move, and everyone will think I'm fucking insane. So he's staring at the door, Mike? Mike! He opens the closet, doesn't see it. He grabs a Swiffer out of the closet. Mike! Nobody's coming. So he reaches with the Swiffer down the hall and starts banging on our door like, somebody please come help me! Aaron finally hears it. She comes outside. The mouse is in there! They start pulling everything out. It finally comes down to like one shoebox is in the back corner of it. They're like, this is it. <laughs> Move the shoebox. Sure enough, Henry the little fucking mouse is right there like, oh, fuck me! He runs out. He takes the Swiffer and tries to stab it. My girlfriend's like, don't kill it! Don't kill it! I wake up like, what the fuck's going on? I go out and Steven's just stabbing the ground with a Swiffer. They finally capture it. They throw it in the box. Oh, we got it. Oh my god. It's there. It's this little tiny thing. It was jumping like crazy, running around, shitting itself. And then like... Shit, <laughs> running around, shitting <laughs> itself. It, it, it was. It was leaving these little bl- brown speckles all over the thing. It finally calms down. (laughs) I'm like, finally, we got it. And then Aaron goes, we should give it a name. Doyle, how about Henry? Me, no, no, we have to get rid of it right now. Once you name it, you're fucked. Yeah, I know. She wanted to keep it for a day. And then she's like, what if we had a little thing? No. No, what we gotta got get rid of it. Cage, you know what else works? Cage. A fucking mouse trap. She would have, no, she was like, we can't kill it, it has to be humane. It doesn't, it doesn't kill them, does it? It can, it can, it can it absolutely can. kill them. It Dude. can absolutely, with the size of the, t- Miles, two dimes, Miles, Miles, there's two a dimes. 50-50 chance, either it's gonna be killed or it's not, okay? She didn't like those odds. Throw it up in the air, man. And then what's great was she, she tweeted about like, we finally set the mouse free, and then everybody bombarded her with that video of that dude that releases a mouse that is immediately swooped up by a hog <laughs> and eaten. Yeah, it, that mouse is dead right now.
Man, it's probably dead. Yeah. Henry's so, dead. Sorry. No. You probably How? died a much more gruesome death than if you had just killed it with yeah. a mouse. How will we all right? sleep tonight? <laughs> knowing <laughs> that Henry could be out Henry. there somewhere cold and alone. Or rotting in some she sort did, of no, bird's stomach. No, she didn't want to release it at night. She was like, what if it has like family and it can't find its family? What the? <laughs> just get rid of the mouse! It was a cute mouse, though. It was a cute mouse. What if it's a chef, like in Ratatouille? Ratatouille. Barbara, that's a movie. So? Oh, where is that mouse now? There was, oh, no, she, we, she released it in the woods. She oh, okay. released it in the woods outside our apartment. We found a mouse in that our- That thing's just gonna come back. You're fucked. We found a mouse in our apartment, and I'll, I'll admit, it was an adorable creature. It was like the size of like two dimes on top of each other. It was very <laughs> tiny. Two dimes. Um, <laughs>